What's today? October? It's Nudie Magazine Day! No? Are you from the 1990s? It is time to buy a stock for month 29 in our portfolio, and this month we're going to get risky. Sussy. We want to talk about the recent market pullback and our stock purchase of month 29. Now, August 5th, if you're around, was one of the worst market drops since Black Monday of 1987. If you've been watching us, you probably want to know what happened to our portfolio during this time. Basically nothing. Big flatliner, people. So on August 5th, the S&P fell 160 points, the Dow dropped 1,000 points, and the um, Nikkei, Nike, Nikkei, the Japanese index, if you know how to say it, comment below, that dropped 12% in a single day. In addition to that, the Magnificent Seven by themselves lost almost $3 trillion. This tells us that most people already know that these stocks are overvalued. So how would our portfolio do? We fell 6.5% from $48,346 to $45,728.15 on August 5th. <laughs> Gotta have the 15 cents in there. Accuracy matters. Almost all of those losses were driven by our friends over at Intel. Thanks, Intel. Excellent work. Outside of that, we barely noticed the drop. If you had money in the market at this time, we can imagine you were a little stressed out. This is why we started the channel, to help you avoid days like that. With that said, let's talk risk management. When the market crashes and everyone is panic selling, we tend to look for opportunities to buy. Why do we do that? Well, with the most recent exception of Intel, every stock on our list pays us a dividend. This gives us a very small incentive to sell and provides a pretty big opportunity to buy. If you want to see that in action, just take a look at what happened with our 3M stock. At the time, it was beaten up and currently is one of our best performers. Now, if you're curious about how we consistently make money in the stock market, we have a playlist for you. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> now, if you watch those videos in the playlist, you'll get an idea of how our strategy works over a long period of time. But keep in mind, we're new to YouTube and some of the older videos are rough around the edges. But we keep the videos up because we believe the information is still solid. So what did we buy this month? This time around, we bought a stock that no longer pays a dividend, at least as of Q3 of this year, temporarily, that hopefully will pay a dividend in the future. Maybe. Maybe. To temper that risk, we also bought something that's a safe play by comparison. This way, if we end up being wrong about the risky play, we have an equal or greater opportunity in another company and business sector to offset those losses. So for month 29, our riskier play is Intel stock. Why did we buy Intel stock? Well, right now they're trading at just about where their book value is. Which is crazy. Crazy low. And the tech sector typically trades at about 15 times their earnings. In addition to that, we believe that Intel's product, who they work with, and their infrastructure represents a good opportunity long term, not short term. So if you're looking for more reasons on why we picked this stock, watch this video up here. So to hedge against the risk of buying Intel, we also decided to buy ADP. ADP is a company that does payroll, HR, PEO, data analytics, big brother. <laughs> they aren't very exciting. They're not in the news that much. And but all they do is win, 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 no matter what. with uh, 49 consecutive years of pay raises. With these purchases, our portfolio is now paying us $139.18 in dividends 18 cents? per month, bringing the total value to $49,614.21. And 21 cents? Because accuracy matters, Tom. Okay. <laughs> 
If you would like to follow along or share in the information gathering we do for videos like this, click on our partner links below to get signed up for Seeking Alpha and Moomoo Finance with our exclusive discounts, which are the same exclusive discounts that every other creator gets. Yeah, we're special, just like everyone else. <laughs> so for next month, we are looking at the banking and REIT sector again. Now, if you have a company you would like us to review for next month's purchase, please comment below and we'll take a look. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you in the next video. 18 cents. <laughs> we gotta be accurate.